With joblessness still high, the pandemic raging across the country and various states of shutdown all across the nation, Christmas will no doubt look a lot different this year. In a Gallup poll, more than a quarter of Americans say they'll spend less on holiday gifts compared to last year. That's the highest number since 2012. A separate survey from financial services company Deloitte shows nearly one in three U.S. households say their financial situation is worse compared to last year. That all adds up to difficult conversations for families with less under the tree this year. Like so many of us, 2020 has been a difficult year for Kyla Ross Kasbah. She just graduated from the nursing program at Wayne County Community College. Financially, we took a big hit um, so with having to wait for unemployment, then not having a job. And that means a leaner Christmas for her son, Grayson. There won't be a lot of big ticket items under the tree this year. Fortunately, he's a very grateful child. So anything that he gets, he's just always so ecstatic about. When people make a habit out of feeling gratitude and counting their blessings, that, that they're happier, they feel more fulfilled. Focusing on that gratitude is an important part of adjusting to a pandemic Christmas. Dr. Jason Van Ness from Davison, Michigan says parents need to examine their own emotions. Unhealthy feelings of guilt, anger, or shame can seep into any conversations with a child. Remind them of how the virus has been powerless to steal the most important aspects of life from us love, friendship, family. A deeper conversation about how the pandemic economy is changing the holiday should be guided by the age of the child. For younger children, keep the conversation broad, but it is important to let them know they're not at fault. To remind them that, buddy, this isn't anything bad that you have done. We have less under the Christmas tree because of the pandemic. For older children, you can have a more frank conversation, but be careful not to go into too much detail about adult issues like being late on a mortgage or struggling to pay bills. But even with tighter finances, you can come up with free and creative ways to make the holiday season special. Walk the neighborhood to see the holiday lights, bake cookies, or have a holiday scavenger hunt. Make Christmas a, a family event of love and of magic, and your, your children will remember that forever. As for Ross Kasbah, the new nurse is deciding between three job offers, and she's expecting a better 2021. I'm just really fortunate that my family is very understanding. Um, my child is very understanding and that it'll work itself out next year. And that's another important note uh, to remind yourself and your children that as difficult and disappointing as this year may be, next year should be better. Children are resilient and in a loving and stable environment, they will thrive.